refuse to fuck with the media, but I had to tap in with my people, man, refuse media, that interview coming soon, they just lined me up for the free throw, you hear me? Yeah, do be on the lookout, oh. Eric was incredible, plus he did a lot of good things uh, behind the scenes that a lot of people don't know. I'll tell you a cool story. Um, you know, a lot of people look at from the surface of what he did and how he played his part, but Eric was a, was a giver. He always used to give and didn't put it on camera. You know, I know a lot of people put things on camera nowadays, and that's cool because you gotta have positive imagery, but he did a lot of things behind closed doors. And like when my, my twin boys was first being born, they had like complications you know, hernias, and they were seven months premature. So, you know, they're identical twins. And he had a multi-million, uh, multi-million deal on the table in a meeting. This is very serious. He was, he was in Calabas, California. And at that time I lived in Fontana. And I needed the money that day because still to this day, the medical system is fucked up. And if I didn't have a certain amount of money, you know, my kids would have complications. So, you know, I told Eric, he paused his whole meeting, drove to Calabasas, and got there in an hour and 15 minutes to Fontana with a bag, with a $30,000 bag of cash, and said, take this to the doctors, man, and make sure your kids is all right. You know, so sometimes I got to, hold back my G tears, you know what I'm saying? Because Eric, he was a quality person. You know, he had quality, he had integrity. But most importantly, he gave a fuck about his artists. All the misconception that he didn't give a fuck about his artists, was some bullshit. You know what I mean? So because of that incident is the reason why my oldest boys are very intelligent. You understand? Yeah. Um, doing good about their own businesses, you know? So, you know, that's what Eric meant to me. You know, I, of course I'm a disciple of the whole thing, the experience at Rufus Records, but what he means to me is, is, is deeper than rap. You know, and he did that for a lot of people. Where would Bone Thugs and Harmony be if he didn't go out there? And they sound was different, but he had vision. He said, nah, man, these, uh, when we didn't understand it at the time, because he was like, mm, gangster shit, mm, mm, mm. Yeah. He said, nah, man, these guys are gonna be big. And he drove down there and, you know what I mean? He, he scooped those guys up. And, you know, look at Bone Thugs and Harmony to this day. You know, yeah. they broke a lot of records. So, Eric contribution, not only just to West Coast, but to music and worldwide. and. Brothers from the hood, you know, never thought they had a chance to escape that suppression. You know what I mean? He was, he left a, a mark that, that a lot of people don't give him the credit for. Yeah. You know what I mean? Most definitely. Thank you for that, man. Yes, sir. That was dope. That was dope, man. Really.